Hello, good people of the interwebs. And welcome. This is Kamikame the third. Our first involvement comes from a classic of the 1990s, in which is based off of a very familiar movie franchise. But it's comic. Counterpart. Well, it's common counterpart had so many issues. So let's show this off, shall we? Based off the movie of the same title. Robocop. Crime in progress. Breaking in and report at the gun shop. Apprehended suspect. Level. Now. If most people don't know, Robocop had a comic, Robocop also had a comic series, believe it or not, in the 1990s. Originally, Marvel Comics had the right to it, and then over time it changed hands. And of course, one of the very few hands happened to be Dark Horse Comics. Boom, I believe Dynamite is another one of them. And, I, I, and of course, you know, Robocop was also a a live action series and an animated series. And of course, what most people don't know is that when it came to the animated series, there were two animated series. There was, of course, the one from the 90s, the early ones, the early show, which was, you know, Robocop the Animated Series, and then there was Alpha Commando. Anybody can actually remember Alpha Commando. And not to mention that Robocop also inspired the Spaceship series. I slowly, I slowly read up on this. I slowly, I, I suddenly just read up on it because RoboCop has been showing up on on um encore as of late because 
they show, they actually show for this month, you know, heroes, the heroes collection. So mainly they show stuff like Robocop, Batman, Superman, and the like. The thing about the RoboCop series is that it couldn't, it, it has so many, so many continuity changes going on. Like the first, like the, like if you remember the first movie, yeah, it was all about revenge. Because Alex Murphy was killed in the line of duty. He was converted to a was converting to um, a cyborg by OCP. And basically all he did to, all he did for the moment was, you know, try to find out why who he was when he was Robocop. I mean, before he became a Robocop. And of course, if you remember correctly, at the end of the movie, you know, he, you know, he was basically a... He basically took on Dick Jones, who was was like the most corrupt son of a bitch in OCP. The old man was, well, he, he was a nice old man. And of course, you know, he killed Clarence Boddicker and, and his and his gang. And, and plus directed four. I mean, come on, you had directed four in the first movie. The second movie you have directed four plus a whole lot of other shit. Some made up shit made by OCP. Cause they felt, oh well since Robocop since RoboCop 1 was a complete success, we're going to try and make it better. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a better RoboCop. Didn't work. So they had to get, of course, another wannabe drug lord by the name of Kane, by the way, to be the the oh so unwilling sacrifice for the cause. And I certainly don't remember this from the movie. Of course, that was Kane taking off right there. And then RoboCop 3 happened. RoboCop 3, what the fuck just happened? things that happened in Robocop, it just made no damn sense, like, okay, I haven't even gone into detail about the 2014 reboot, 
because I haven't seen the 2014 reboot of RoboCop. Sector 3, yo. It's like, you couldn't tell what actually happened after the end of RoboCop 1, you know? It's like, okay, first off, the old man was nice. Then, by the second movie, he was just evil. Because he, all he wanted was in the end, some phone tank. Why do you think he he told he told that woman direct report direct I mean report directly to me? Now? That doesn't make no sense, you know. And of course, um, then we have in the comics RoboCup versus the Terminator, and I read up on that. It's basically like body and soul from the Alien Engine series. Of course, for those who... For those who wondered about that series... Well, you're going to have to find it for yourself. It might be an ebook format. There are a lot of things I hadn't even realized. Like, okay, I don't remember these in, in Robocop. What's the main problem with the RoboCop series? The RoboCop series. Oh, there's another part of RoboCop that um, I managed to watch, and that's um, Prime Directives. And the story takes place. The story takes place a little after. takes a place a little after, um, I believe mainly after the movie series, I think. Seriously. Remind me of, of the guy in the first movie. Who got run the fuck over when he turned into a freaking mutant. Okay, they got that wrong. First off, in the in, in RoboCop 2, it wasn't a guy; it was a kid. Asking about, you know, who is this? I mean, what happened here? That was that was that kid. That was Hob from the movie. And like I said before, the main problem with the RoboCop series was continuity. Because
Because if it had, if it really stuck to where it's supposed to have been, like, it doesn't really tell exactly what happened, you know, what exactly happened after the first Robocop movie. I was okay, so we see the mayor as a recurring character. The old man is a recurring character, but in this case, he turned into a douche. Of course, you have Murphy, Reed, and, and Lewis as the recurring characters in the three movies. The animated series was different. Because again, continuity. And of course, they couldn't stick with one story. It's like, okay, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to have this story coincide with this story because it doesn't make sense. And we're going to do this and do it. Like, stick with one story. And besides, you know. The comic changed hands like so with so many posters. And of course ED 9 is still the most dumbest looking motherfucker there. It's like ED 209 can't do anything. Most useless piece of shit ever known. Ever devised by man. Now I know I'm I'm, I'm talking shit about A series that just doesn't know what to do with itself. Of course, if it was, if I was playing two-player, you would have classic Robocop, and then classic Robocop, which is number one, and then and then you have um, part two, which is. Um, and then you have Robocop 2, which is the Deep Blue, when he's Deep Blue, or Cobalt Blue Robocop, in the third movie. Oh, and, and let's not forget, Robocop have various games. Aside from the arcade games, which only two were made. You had, of course, the NES version. Uh, um, Kane never spoke either. Um... I mean, I remember from Robocop 2, they never, I mean, Kane never spoke after he got turned into a mindless killing machine. He was like, that's all he was. Just endless grunts and shit. It's like, Robocop 
as much as I could say, oh, that was terrible. I mean, I, I've, I've said all I had to say about Robocop. And I pointed out all the... All the problems with Robocop, but as I said before, the only saving grace about Robocop was the fact that he did inspire the Space Sheriff series. You know, like Shida and um, Gavon. Because there were only a few, uh, only a few um, Space Sheriff series, but still. After the first movie, he was technically, um, he was technically a part of Japan after the first movie. And to this day, they still do, um, commercials with Robocop for advertising purposes. I'm pretty sure Wind Spectre is probably one of those, um, It's probably part of that that list of Space Sheriff series. I might be wrong, but But as I said before Robocop if not for him. It would not be so popular today. Because everybody knows, if not for Robocop, we wouldn't get the best line ever, ever devised in pop culture today. And you've heard it in Total Carnage before. And Smash TV. I buy that for a dollar. It's become its own meme. It's a better meme than the memes we got today. And if I have not mentioned um, Prime Directors, um, it's a three-part story. It, it was a three-part story, I believe, or four-part story about an aging Robocop. He had a partner, but he too was turned into a cyborg. And I have to say, this version of Robocop, I didn't mind because he acted more human than in the movie. And his partner was called Cable. So of course, um, yeah, Robocop and Robo Cable. Now, of course, his son, Murphy's son, was working for OCP. Of course, Murphy. I'm not forgetting the fact that, you know, he basically had to deny existence of, deny his existence because of the fact that, you know, enemies. was understandable, but at least, at least at the very end of the series,
least at the very end of the series, they re reunited and of course, Murphy's son. Now I'm proud of his father because, you know, he's the son of Robocop and, you know, Murphy is once again back on the streets like he's supposed to. Of course, the thing about Robocop is, like I said, the only thing it had going for it is that when the first movie came out, it was one of the most wild movies ever known since, well, The Terminator. And I should take that back, actually. There's plenty of 80s movies back in, back in the day were, of course, violent as all hell. But as I said before, with Robocop, it was over the top. It had that oh so over the top beauty that only you can get out of it. As much as it was, it has spawned various video games, various um, series, both live and animated, and not to mention the fact that, well, in a comic series they just couldn't make up a damn mind. Yeah, Frank Miller version, Marvel Comics version, the Boom version, Dynamite version, the Dark the, the Dark Horse Comics version. Of course, they had you know the Robocop versus the Terminator, and even a one shot. Never said all that. But of course, this has been Robocop 2, the arcade game. And I've been the Tank Age of Gaming. And I hope you didn't mind the fact that I was sharing some nuggets of joys about the series as a whole. But stay tuned, we have more! We do have more of Kamikabe the Third. 
in a few, so don't touch that dial. Enjoy the videos, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.